I get some really good airflow yeah. because the, the majority of you know the on-rushing air is, is hitting me direct. We were riding around yesterday in it and it was in the 90s. It was pretty <clears> hot <throat> here in Chicago, pretty muggy. So I had all the vents open. It turns out it has like 10, Ten vents. vents. <laughs> Hey everybody! Welcome back to No Tears Frontiers Diaries. Today we're going to discuss our new riding gear that we have, which is very, Yay! very exciting. <laughs> our other gear had been through four years of, of torment and abuse. Very excited to uh, to be suited up in, in fresh, new Gore-Tex for the first time. Yes, and we want to tell you all about it. We want to tell you um, all this new stuff that we have and our expectations for it. Yes, of course our expectations are, are through the high. roof. Yeah. You know, no one's like, I bought this gear, I got this gear. And uh, <laughs> you know, I don't expect much out of it. Um, a little asterisk, we are um, sponsored, sponsored by Crime, which is awesome for it us. It is so, so fantastic. This is like a dream partnership for us. When we started off on our journey, we had the philosophy that we were just going to buy very cheap gear and not invest in very middle good range. quality gear. Yeah, no. middle range. And we'd see people with climb gear and we were just like, oh, that, that's nice. You know, they'd tell us, oh, this is Gore-Tex and it's waterproof and I don't need to put on rain gear. And we'd be like, oh yeah, that's nice. It wasn't that we were suffering, but we knew that there was better stuff out yeah. there. And then when Climb reached out to us um, for this sponsorship, for this partnership, we were so ecstatic. Was, I think uh, I was a really uh, quick yes. Yes, I think I was dancing around for a couple of days. <laughs> it felt to me like when, like, let's say you're a huge Madonna fan. You know, you love everything Madonna, and then one day she calls you and is like, "Hey, want to go out to lunch?" I feel like that's how I. That's felt. not how I felt. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not, that's not. I was like, yay, climb gear. Not like, yay, Madonna with lunch. <laughs> this is like us moving in with Madonna, not not going to lunch. Yeah. So we're super, super thrilled about this. Understatement of the year. So what I picked out of the, uh, what I what I got was the Carlsbad. Um, and, you know, they make a bunch of gear for a bunch of different riding. Uh, they make suits that are for hotter weather, you know, that will be more mesh. Uh, they make heavier suits. That's pretty much like battle armor. That is the, like the Badlands Pro. But I, I wanted to go with like a middleweight champion. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not as heavy um, as the, the Badlands Pro, but it's still got multiple layers of protection, awesome armor. It's made of Gore-Tex. There's plenty of venting and so, yeah, I chose the Carlsbad. I really like it. And I really, 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 really like it. I'm, I'm super pumped. We've only, you know, there's, it's been on the road with us for, what, like three or four test rides for three or four hours. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is like brand new for us. So we've only been able to take it out to a couple of rides. Yeah. That's it. But I got the matching pants and me as the, 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 the pilot of the vehicle, if you will, um, I get a lot more airflow, so it's nice for yeah. me because I, I have, uh, I think on Marissa's jacket. So I like his jacket, but guess what? I like my jacket even dun, dun, more. Dun, dun, dun. Um, it just, it has such a nice fit 
for me. I feel um, it's like it's very feminine, but very protective and what type very of jacket awesome. Is it? This is an Artemis jacket. And uh, again, it's Gore-Tex, so um, everything I've heard is that it's extremely waterproof, and mm. that's what we're hoping for, you know, on this trip to Alaska this summer. It's, from what I've heard, going to be quite cold and rainy there, uh, even during the summertime. So, uh, yeah, having something that is completely waterproof and then also windproof is going to be very important for us but um, we were riding around yesterday in it and it was in the 90s it was pretty <coughs> hot here in Chicago pretty muggy and um, so I had all the vents open it turns out it has like 10, Ten vents, vents. <laughs> yeah which is a plus because again I'm up front and so I'm getting a lot of wind and uh, I got like six or something vents but I get some really good airflow yeah. because the, the majority of you know the on rushing air is, is hitting me direct so it's a good thing that she's got 10 vents because i guess i'm behind yeah sitting behind you know a solid object not a lot of the same airflow is getting to her so and i i was fine i stayed very very cool in it yeah. so i'm super I mean, thrilled we need we needed to pick something that would handle us in hot weather and in cold weather and leaning more on the comfort of cold weather um, I mean, both of the jackets are are awesome, and, and they're not made to keep you insanely hot because then in the summer it's awful, and they're not yeah. the mesh ones like you'd use in Baja or whatnot mm -hmm. because then in Alaska it'd be insanely cold. Right. And so we got the ones where there's enough ventilation to cool you down, but when you zip everything up, you know, everything is, uh, your body heat is, can still be retained. Exactly. And that was one of the things that um, when we partnered with Climb that they told us is that they wanted us to uh, really beat these up and see, yeah. uh, get some feedback back about it and uh, take it to its limits, you know, test yeah. it to the fullest. And we were like, well, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> we're good at that. We go through all different climates um, every single climates. day. Uh, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're brand new and shiny, and we're going to get them nasty and dirty. Yeah. And knowing me, you know, and I just bought this 1190R that sits about, like, two inches higher, and so yeah. my, my tippy toes aren't <laughs> as, as concrete. So I'll, I'll drop the bike. In the sake of climb, <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will do that. So On you know, purpose, of course. <laughs> on purpose, just to test our elbow pads and such. Right. So these will be put through uh, quite the test yeah. this summer and for many years to come. But uh, right now, it's all shiny and new, yep. and we're super, super excited. So, I mean, we will update on what we, you know, like, this is kind of an out-of-the-box excitement review, not to, yeah. you know, t try it, true and test it. Even though countless others before us have, have, have done that, I don't think anybody's questioning the reliability of climb at this point. But Right. We'll be uh, happy to, to make updates as we, as we ride around. <laughs> we'll push it to the brink, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I also got some climb gloves. That These are the first pair of gloves I've ever had that have been Gore-Tex. Yeah. So I've never had a pair of gloves that were waterproof. I once bought skiing gloves. Nope. They said they were waterproof, not at all. So I'm really hoping that this Gore-Tex is going to do everything that uh, they say it will. And uh, these should be pretty warm and uh, keep my hands dry through all that Alaskan rain. So, yeah. The so popularity of Climb, the, the Badlands Pro gloves that I got are actually on back orders. So ah, yeah. We're hoping that we'll be able to pick them up in Idaho as we're meandering around. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a, a couple other things that will be to come. Marissa's yes. pants are, yes. are still in the works. I did get the matching Carlsbad pants and they're freaking awesome as well. And one of my favorite upgrades is the helmet, mm -hmm. it's the, the TK1200s. But they have these cool transition lenses where right now, you know, they're clear. So if you're, yeah. you know, riding around at night or, you know, they're like, they're clear. But I've never worn glasses, but they have those cool transition lens glasses where you walk outside and they turn and that's exactly what these do and at first i was skeptical yeah i was pretty skeptical too i'm like i don't know if this could beat my little sunglass the tom cruise thing they're the top yeah. gun. 
But uh, but they work flawlessly. They're absolutely awesome. Right. Yesterday on that ride, it was super hot out. It was very sunny. And when I was looking in the side mirror at, at the helmet, I could see that the visor had become completely black with how much yeah. uh, sunglass transitions it had become. It was really incredible. Yeah. And I could see perfectly fine out without having any glare. Um, I was really impressed with it. And of course we got our new, uh, our uh, Cardo <gasps> yeah. Talk bulbs. Yeah. And so our communication has been upgraded too. Uh, I made a little video on how I installed it. Um, I also have my GoPro Media Mod stuck to the front of her. Uh, so it's gotten a little, I got a little technical with, with <laughs> my, my craftiness. And I can't wait to, to put it through the test because... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can see his uh, Cardo has little green stickers on it. Yeah, it come like that just to differentiate yeah. between the two. Indeed. <laughs> and one would have done, but me, I don't just do one. No, I, I you do five. five. Yes. <laughs> but... But no, we're excited. We got uh, new helmets, new new jackets, new pants. Absolutely. New gloves, you know. And it's really, really crazy, but we are leaving tomorrow. This is true. We are so, so, so thrilled to be on yeah. the road again. Um, this trip to Alaska has required a bit more planning than what we're used to. We're used to just kind of going and seasonal stuff never really mattered because we'd be, you know, headed towards the equator where uh, the seasons are pretty much constant besides like rainy season. But um, for Alaska, you really have to time it right. It reminds me of going to Ushuaia yeah. where we did have to time that correctly, getting all the way to the bottom of South America. have to you know avoid winter right you got to avoid winter in Ushuaia you got to avoid winter in uh, Alaska but our timeline pretty much uh, of our bullet points put us right on track to getting to Alaska in, in August so yeah. we're doing Flagstaff in Arizona for the Overland Expo yes. West which will be awesome and then we're backtracking to Yellowstone to give yes. a tour with uh, Temple, Temple of Moto, Moto which is awesome <laughs> yes um, and then from there, and there's still some spots left, so you can Join check us. out Temple of Moto and ride along with us in Yellowstone on my birthday at the place I proposed to Marissa. So, so exciting. just saying, <laughs> but then from Yellowstone, we're heading to Bend, Oregon mm -hmm. um, for the first Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. Yeah, from there, we head up to Alaska. Yeah. And then after Alaska, so that when we come back into the States, we'll be meander around a little bit. And then we're giving, we're participating in two more Temple of Moto tours in Utah, mm -hmm. which very well may be my favorite state. There's just so much to do in Utah and it's just so, it's, yes. I, there's, I'm lost for words for it. It's one of my favorite states, if not my favorite state. Riding season with yeah. a tour through the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. 
which uh, we didn't actually get to go through the Smoky Mountains last summer, but we did do some of the Blue Ridge Parkway and it yeah. was stunning, stunning, stunning. So we're very happy about all the plans of our adventures for the summertime. Indeed. All the opportunities that have presented them to, to us. It's, we're just so thankful to everybody who watches, to Overland Expo who invites yes. us, to Temple of Moto who lets us participate in some of their tours. You know, to, uh, you know, to climb, obviously, thank you. You know, yes, there's there's you. a lot of uh, shout outs that, that, you know, are, are bringing this, you know, I, I like, it's Susan with Heavy Enduro, uh, Andy's girlfriend says, you know, this is like, it's a new bike, so it's, it's made in Voyage Part 2, you know? And you know what, it feels like that. Now, yeah. to say that everything is perfect is not true when it comes to all of our dreams and excitement for the summer. Yeah, that's perfect. There's nothing more that we would ever wish for. But um, preparing is always stressful. And yeah. I feel like the last few days before your departure, at least in our case, sometimes can be the most stressful um, days. Uh, we really discovered this when we first headed off. We sold all of our stuff. We sold our cars we sold we quit our jobs you know mm -hmm. it, we had huge garage sales we just got rid of everything and it was such a huge transition to do that and then just head off on this new trip we yeah. faced a lot of obstacles I in the beginning that may have been scarier because we hadn't done it before and it was still yeah. a big what if like what if we were on the road for six months and we're like okay this sucks i don't want to do this anymore right now at least we know that you know this is what we want to do Gorgeous. Gorgeous, misty, mystical, yes. amazing. But it's it's still, it's just, we were supposed to leave today. And then yeah. last night we were sitting in bed and Marissa said, you can say no, but <laughs> we have a burn day. What do you think if we just stay one more day to tighten up all the loose ends that we don't have to rush through? And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought like, for sure he was going to say no. <laughs> uh -uh. I mean, there's just, you, you try to wrap everything up in a pretty bow before you leave. And there's yeah. just, it just never happens as, as quickly as you expect. Right. And um, also, this time is very similar to the first time in that we were quitting our jobs that we had had over the winter. Yeah. Um, we also had to kind of get rid of a lot of belongings that we had accumulated over our time here back in the States. And so, um, it yeah, it got to be a little bit stressful and the time frame got to be quite tight yeah. there at the end at the last few days all right so what's happening here you don't even want to know me <laughs> attempting to put uh, my pdm on along with some other electrical components but when it comes to the bikes electronics it's 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 not awesome as far as my knowledge we are for sure leaving tomorrow. Yes, we are for sure leaving tomorrow. The bike is ready, the bike is prepped, everything is super glued and duct taped and... <sighs> fingers crossed. So, no fingers crossed. Everything <laughs> is freaking awesome. It doesn't hurt to cross your fingers. Don't cross your fingers. <laughs> Don't throw salt over your shoulder. Don't, none of that. Oh, I will. Everything is awesome. <laughs> So yes, stay tuned. We're going to try our best to be pumping out videos as quickly as we can to keep you updated. So like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace.